Brain Learning, Body Science It is your brain, not your body that makes you a special person. The unique alignment of your neurophysics, the way your brain processes information. The unique attributes of your social physics, how you interact with society. The experience between your sense of self and your sense of feel for self will define who you are. The Brain's Body Welcome to Dr. Slayton Live, The Brain's Body, The Ultimate Experience. Today we will dive into the fascinating books of human systems science, a field pioneered by Dr. Christopher K. Slayton. This innovative approach to the study of self, known as a human systems science school of thought, places a strong focus on the study of mental health and self-awareness. Imagine a framework that seamlessly integrates the study of brain functions, body physics, and sensory experiences. For instance, the way the brain learns, the body lives, and the senses transfer feelings of self that offer a comprehensive knowledge base to unlock human potential, enhance cognitive processes, and improve behavior responses. This forms a holistic view that brings together various aspects of our being to provide a deeper understanding of what I call, your sense of feel for self and the brain. My podcast focuses on human systems science, particularly addressing the needs of children from families impacted by substance abuse disorders. It aims to provide caregivers, educators, and healthcare professionals with insights and practical strategies to support these children and their parents. To this end, our podcast forms a learning by listening format. This allows listeners to test their perceptions and to better assess our information. Each episode explains how the brain and body respond to neural and physical stimuli, which illustrates the concept of the brain's body. This approach helps listeners evaluate how emotions affect the body and how the brain processes these emotions through physical sensations. For instance, an episode might explore how stress impacts the flow of energy, action, and feelings between brain and body connections. Human Systems Science Do you know how your brain learns? Understanding how you learn can help improve the way you sense and receive brain and body interaction. Do you know how your body lives? Having a sense of how your body lives can enhance the way you learn and respond to contact. Do you know how your senses transfer information? Studying a sense of feel for self can focus your mental health and self-awareness. Brain's Body Learning Brain-body learning is crucial because it helps you study how your brain and body interact to process information and respond to our environment. The study of self can enhance your mental health, self-awareness, and overall healing in meaningful ways. You improve self-learning and cognitive function through the study of how your brain learns to align with goals that allow you to absorb and retain more information. Knowing how your body lives and functions can help you make better choices for your physical health. This includes understanding the importance of how you eat, exercise, and sleep to maintain healthy body and mind, and brain and body interactions. Learning to understand how your senses transfer information can help you become more aware of your surroundings and improve your sensory processing. This can lead to better decision-making and more effective responses to stimuli. Making sense of how you process information helps to shape your mental health and self-awareness. This can help you recognize more ways to manage your emotions, which can lead to better mental health and overall healing. Human systems science approaches learning the brain's body to assess the body in terms of contact, the brain in terms of interaction, and the senses in terms of cooperation. It considers how the brain learns, the body lives, and the senses transfer energy, action, and feelings. How you learn as a participant observer spans diverse environments, home, school, neighborhood, and workplace and assess how personal, academic, social, and occupational tasks develop control over brain, body, and senses. The discipline also investigates how people process and express emotions and thoughts, aiming for responses that can be confirmed and repeated. Finally, it explores how you participate in family, education, government, and business affairs in ways that allow you to assess your mental health and self-awareness. This book explores the links between education, science, and human systems, highlighting how the body, brain, and senses shape our information processing. It examines how studying human responses informs a self-learning approach to understanding the meanings of personal growth and mastery. Evidence-Based Reporting 2009 this book examines the complexities of self-awareness in relation to education and science during the information processing era. 
It addresses the learning and adaptation difficulties faced by both parents and children due to America's drug epidemics and their subsequent societal impacts. Accordingly, the book investigates the effects of these challenges on educational outcomes and parent-child bonding. The aim is to provide insightful guidance on ways to effectively navigate and respond to these evolving issues. Evidence-Based Reporting 2010 this book explores the links between human services and the mental health and self-awareness struggles of children, youths, and young adults. When you train the brain in isolation, without integrating the experience of self, the transition to the neurophysics of self can fail to connect. This is why you examine how the brain learns to become more informed. The body lives through the brain and sense connections that transfer energy, action, and feelings that you assess for signs of discipline. Hence, this book considers how personal, academic, social, and occupational skills advance through action learning, learning by doing. Evidence-Based Reporting 2012 This book explains how human systems research integrates the study of individuals, interpersonal relationships, and environmental interactions. It addresses the needs of children from families impacted by substance abuse disorders, including those who may be unaware of these issues through action learning events. Learning through ways of exploring how individuals perceive contact and receive information, the text makes observable the corresponding brain and body responses as well as reactionary patterns. This is why you can study the connections between cognitive and physical interactions in action learning, focusing on tools related to mental health and self-awareness. Evidence-Based Reporting 2016 this book aims to explore the intersection of education and science to improve mental health by promoting insights into how the brain learns and manages emotions. The Brain's Body Book is for educators, mental health professionals, and anyone interested in human, cognitive, and behavior science. That means the field of human systems science, which studies brain, body, and sense events. Evidence-Based Reporting 2022 this book examines human intelligence through interactions between the brain, body, and senses. These connections highlight the brain's role as a social neural organ. Understanding how these elements work together explains how you learn from your environment. At the core of human system science lies BrainTalk, a tool designed to analyze the complexities of human, cognitive, and behavior sciences. BrainTalk helps you understand how the brain connects with the body and sensory signals. By understanding these internal processes, especially how we perceive ourselves and others, adults can better support a child's developing sense of self and interaction with their environment. Brain Talk is a perspective that links brain learning with mental health by exploring how a child's experiences affect both emotional regulation and physical responses. Evidence-Based Reporting 2024 Reflective storytelling is a crucial aspect of human systems science HSS, as it emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and understanding the intricate connections between the brain, body, and senses. Here are some key points on how reflective storytelling reflects HSS's self-science. 1. Navigating personal crises and gaining self-awareness Reflective storytelling helps individuals navigate personal crises and gain self-awareness by examining their experiences and emotions. 2. Understanding brain and body connections Reflective storytelling links with brain talk, which involves preparing the brain to lead through a sense of self-awareness. 3. Enhancing communication and emotional regulation Reflective storytelling involves effective communication with oneself and others, recognizing when the brain is in control, and fostering a sense of self-awareness. 4. Creating supportive educational environments Reflective storytelling can be applied in educational settings to help students understand their emotions and thoughts better. In this book, reflective storytelling is a fundamental aspect of human systems science as it provides valuable insights into the complex interactions between the brain, body, and senses, and helps improve mental health, self-awareness, and educational outcomes. Evidence-Based Reporting 2024 this book ascends from my personal journey as a father of a son with childhood schizophrenia. I have more than 30 years of experience in social and academic research. The book covers topics ranging from basic physiological signs of life to complex neurophysics that underline our sense of feel for self and the brain. It provides a comprehensive understanding of the principles governing human systems science and introduces techniques like brain's body learning, brain talk, and reflective storytelling, which enhance sensory-slash-cognitive functions and improve the way you make contact to interact with a child's brain. Evidence-Based Reporting 2025 
The brain's body introduces a new method for enhancing sense and receive path performance. The brain is the body, because the receive path must lead the sense path to respond more effectively to environmental contact. For instance, when you hear your name called in a noisy room, you focus with your sense of feel for self and your brain, to help process this important auditory information over other background noise. The brain coordinates how you sense, feel, and respond to your environment as you learn to cooperate and reflect on the experience of self. Dr. Christopher K. Slayton describes the brain as the body to accentuate the intricate bond between them and how these bonds shape human experiences and responses. Get a copy now! Brain Learning, Body Science